Peace. Oh, please. It's obvious. I have a video about this astral projection experience. I've had two months ago, actually. I had it two months ago, but I realized that I need to make this into a video to let you know how crazy this astral projection really was. So I did the one technique where I called it the dog paddling technique. So I woke up, I didn't move, I left my eyes closed and then all of a sudden I start doing the dog paddling technique, right? What is that? So I'm basically like going like this, like I'm imagining and like feeling it. It's like almost like visualizing it, but it's like you're really feeling it and you really feel your astral body. Just moving, going like this with my hands and the same thing basically with my legs. I'm doing the same thing with my legs all of a sudden. And yeah, I have a video about this. I made a video about this. It was how to astral project today. And you can watch that if you wanna learn more about that technique. So I did that, right? And I start feeling the vibrations building. The vibrations are, are building and I know what's about to happen. <laughs> I know it's about to happen. I'm about to astral project, I'm about to lift off, baby. So that's exactly what happens. And then all of a sudden, I'm laying face down. I'm laying face down on my bed. And then I get up, I get up and then uh, I, I look over at my girlfriend, she's sleeping. I hold my nose just to make sure because I guess there was kind of a, I wasn't fully conscious, but like I was, I, I was pretty conscious, but I wanted to make sure. I wanted to do the technique where I hold my nose like this and try breathing and I could still breathe. So I knew that was my reality check. I did that, I could still breathe. I'm like, okay. We're here. We astral projected, baby. And so I'm looking at my girlfriend. She it looks like she's like getting up. She's like kind of looking at me like all confused. And I'm trying to tell her telepathically. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to tell her telepathically. It worked. Like I'm astral projecting right now. And um, she didn't. She she. It looked like I wasn't conveying the message or something. So I told her out loud. I'm like, it worked. Like I, I'm astral projecting. It worked. The the reality check. It worked. I could still breathe while I'm holding my nose. And then she kept looking at me and she didn't respond or anything, I don't think. So I just, I'm like, I gotta go. Like, I'm like, I can't waste any time right now. <laughs> so, I, so next thing, I, I go up to my window, I go up to my window and then I look out the window and it looks, it looks pretty different. Like there's, my driveway is usually, like, my driveway is like right out here, but I had the driveway. It looked like it was a little closer to this side. It looked a little, maybe a little different. Um, I think that's how I remember it. But the thing was, there was like a gray car, like uh, right in front of my house. And then there was like another gray car uh, over here. And then, so that's that's kind of odd. And and then I look at the license plate and just, just letting you know, I, c I could read the license plate numbers I don't remember what they were, you know, this was two months ago. And even then, right after the astral projection, I could not remember the exact numbers it was. But, okay, so I'm looking around and things, I mean, it looks a little different. It doesn't look exactly the same. And then all of a sudden, I noticed there's this woman. There's this woman coming up to my house. I'm just like... <laughs> no, I, I didn't really, I didn't really, honestly, I didn't hesitate much. I saw this woman, all of a sudden, I open up my window, and then I just, I go right through the screen. I, I'm, I don't actually face through the screen. I just freaking crash through the screen, like I break the screen, and I literally, I don't know, something, something about it. I just, I wanted to get her away from my house. So I literally, I fly up to her, I fly up to her. I start pushing her away. I start pushing her away, like, get away from her. I, I don't say anything, but I'm just like, I don't think I said anything, but I'm just pushing her away because, I don't know, I was getting some creepy vibes kind of like that. And, um, I don't, I, don't, I can't, I can't exactly remember what she looked like. It looked like she was kind of like walking like, kind of like this, you know? And I know what, I know everything, I know what you guys are going to say right now. You guys are probably thinking, that is demonic. That's probably what you're gonna think, right? <laughs> but I'm pushing her away, right? I'm pushing her away, whatever. I'm trying to get her the heck away from my house. And then all of a sudden I start feeling, 
I start, like, my vision starts fading away. It starts, like, going black. I'm like, oh, no. And I, <laughs> I started thinking, like, maybe this is, like, some evil, like, some kind of evil, like, entity. Entity. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I just, like, I push her away. I push her away. And I fly up into the, I fly up into the sky. And then my intent, so I had an intent before this was to meet my spirit guides. So, yes. That was my intent. It was to meet my spirit guides. So I'm looking all around, and then uh, so I'm in the sky. I'm looking all around, and I notice these these clouds, right? And it, this, I wrote down in, on my phone. It looked like there was. It looked like the clouds were forming people. I, I can't remember that too well, but but then all of a sudden it it started to form like a circle. The clouds started to form a circle as my intent was to find my spirit guides. So I, I see the circle of clouds opening up and uh, instinctively I'm like, I gotta go through there, right? So I'm, I'm flying, I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm flying like Superman. I'm going straight up to that circle, going straight up to that circle <laughs> of clouds. And then I'm flying through for a little bit, I'm flying through and all of a sudden the weirdest the trippiest thing happens. I don't know. I, 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 I it's hard to even, uh, I have to let you know that it is hard to put this into words exactly what I'm about to experience, what I'm about to experience in this moment. So I'm flying through, right? I'm flying through these clouds and then all of a sudden something changes, something changes and all of a sudden, I'm looking, I'm look. I'm like going down now. I'm like flying down. I, I'm not sure if I was, I think I was like almost like falling. And then like, I'm looking down, kind of like falling down like this. And as I'm looking down, it's like the most trippiest thing you, you can ever see. It's one of the trippiest things you can ever see. It's like these clouds. It's like, there's this, this is like the circle. And I'm like going towards this like, big circle and it's moving all around like all, all all these like i can't even i can't even put into words all these textures and they're all moving and it looks like it looks a little geometric like it's all like synchronized movements or something like that it, it was absolutely mind-blowing and i'm thinking like this is like the trippiest thing ever i'm that's what i'm thinking in my head as i'm falling towards this trippy circle thing. I'm thinking this is the trippiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I'm just like looking like, whoa. <laughs> and it was absolutely, absolutely insane. And I'm just, I'm falling towards this, this circle. I'm just mesmerized by this beautiful, this beautiful thing that is happening as I'm falling through the clouds. So yeah, I'm falling through the clouds. Like I, I can see like white clouds all around me kind of like that and I'm falling towards this trippy circle of white and blue and all of a sudden as I like get really close to the circle as I get really close to the circle all of a sudden uh, it ends the astral projection is like it's done it's over and I can't remember exactly if I woke up or if I went into a dream because I, I wrote down in my in my dream diary I wrote down that that right after that there was a dream and it was happening in my room and that exact that, that little trippy too like this this one girl she was she's my girlfriend's friend who like gave me this like book and it was like all this trippy stuff and we were watching some trippy on my TV like we were, she like brought in something to present to us and we were watching something really trippy on the TV and like, I, I don't remember exactly what it was but whatever that I think that second part was just the dream maybe because I think the astral projection ended right there and um, yeah it's super crazy because I'm gonna be publishing Another video, I already filmed the next video because uh, about a week or two ago, I had an experience kind of similar to this, like going through the clouds and like, well, before going through the clouds, I saw like, Yo, yeah, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. It was really trippy and I'll publish it soon. Um, but this was my astral projection experience and you know, it, it was really cool because this was like pretty, this was a pretty 
vivid experience. It was really vivid and realistic. I mean, the woman, that was that was weird. Like that woman who was walking towards my house, that was weird. I I, I could have been some kind of like like lower lower vibrational entity, you know, something that I, I didn't want to mess with. I probably shouldn't even like touch that, you know. I probably shouldn't even like try to push her away. I should have just flown right over her, honestly, thinking about it now. But that's what I did. Instinctively, I came up to her. I tried to push her away. <laughs> so that that's my experience. That's my astral projection technique. Or ex that's my astral projection experience. And if you want to learn more about my astral projection experiences and how to do it, watch right here. I got some astral projection videos right here. Maybe some lucid dreaming videos. We'll see. And subscribe and hit the bell notification because I have a lot more videos coming. Peace. Oh, please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious.